Yo, what's going on guys? Ethan here and today we are going to go over the basics of shipbuilding. Now before I get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. I'd really appreciate it. Now if you're looking for ways to modify your ship and you cannot find it, well, you can land at a city uh, or any anything that has these ship technicians and not every single technician will prompt you with this. But if you find hey, a ship services technician, should be right around a trade authority um, kiosk. Well, you can access them. Anything I can and help you, you can repair your ship for a thousand credits. Um, I like to view and modify my ship. That's what you want. Or if you want to sell your ship, you can let me see what ships you have for sale. And you can buy their ships or sell your ships. Now, before I get too deep into this, you can actually, if you don't want to go to a ship technician or anything like that, at your base, you can build a landing pad with ship builder. And this will allow you to build your ships at home at your base. Now, if you have one of those, you can actually just walk up to it and access these uh, ship builder control console. And like I said, if you're new to this game, you can just go to any city or anything and you can go to a ship um, technician and select the, I'd like to view and modify my ships. So in this outpost ship builder, I can view and modify my ships. Same thing as the prompt as the uh, technician. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, before we get this video kicked off, I'm going to tell you some of the key bindings that will, will be useful for you. Now, I'm gonna just press, hover over everything, press delete once more. And the key bindings, press G to add. Now, I'm gonna go to uh, Habs. I'm just gonna add some, all right? I'm just gonna add a random Hab. And as you see the little uh, arrows that are popping up with the little uh, the highlights, well, you can press G on one of them and you can instantly just snap to it without having to like move around or anything like that. Now, also, if you're having a hard time with the up and down and you can't quite get something to, to snap on top, well, it's because you need it's in layers. So if you put a look, look on the right side here, it says R and F, R and F. Well, to go higher, you can uh, press R, F to go lower, and this will allow you to snap under and on top of things e way easier, way, way easier. Now, you can actually uh, duplicate. So if I wanted to duplicate one of these, I can just hold Control, press G. And it, it also works with um, undo and redo. So Control Z. Control Z to undo everything. Control Y to redo. Uh, I can actually see my ships here, right? And these are my ships. Of course, you won't have these because these are mine, not yours. And if I sift through them by Q and T, I can figure out which one I want to edit because you cannot create a ship from scratch. Of all features in the game, you can't do that. Bla uh, right? So what you can do is you can steal a ship, for example, like the dagger, you press G to register, you register it for some credits, and then you just tear it down and build it back up from scratch. And I, I already have stuff registered. I really don't want to register that even though I have a lot of credits. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my razor leaf. Now, once I, I'm here, I can look around, make sure what edits I want to place here or build it from scratch. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear it down and build it from scratch. If I hover over anything, I can press delete. That way I can quickly delete everything. You do not have to select to delete. And voila. So essentially what you want to do is you want to make a ship where uh, there's uh, plenty of room for landing gears, plenty of room for a lot of stuff that uh, will not prompt you some errors. And the errors are very straightforward once you get used to them. And we'll go over that here in a second. Now, if I press G to add, now this is completely scratch right now. And if you delete, whatever you delete from that ship will be added into your total up here. So I have 21,000 to work with, uh, a free currency right now. So uh, Q and T to go left and right. And if I go to Habs, now this is your essential part of your ship. It's basically the whole of your, of your ship. And this is where you can have companions to sit, chill. If you find one that you like, you can, and it has variations, you can press the arrow keys left and right to select the different variants. You can have an armory, captain's quarters, computer core. You can make your ship look cool, right? Right now, I'm just going to build a little basic ship here. And it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to look uh, decent, right? It's just going to look decent. So 
what I want to do is I want to find the bottom part of my ship. And sadly, cer certain companies do not have bottom parts for their ship, like Stroud. I don't see any bottom parts here. So that's that's kind of a bummer, I feel like. Because uh, their, their stuff looks pretty cool. Now, if you go to structural, you could probably build off of structural and make the, the bottoms look at least better. You have all kinds of stuff you could do initially, like just keep adding more and more to your ship make it look cool now these are strictly cosmetic they do not add anything but mass to your ship and the more mass you have on your ship the worse it will move, be moving left and right up and down and the speed wise so make sure your mass doesn't exceed your skill in piloting and or your ship and reactor for what what it can do you know now if you don't care about that you just want a lot of space on your ship and you had a car some cargo that's fine you can do whatever you want now I'm gonna go back to Hab. Now you have different kinds of. Uh, uh, this is why I like to use the bottom and top. Um, now the reason why is because it has this little enclosed space right here. Now if I wanted to press the bottom B and do this one, I can press G, and in structural there will be a thing I can add. If I go to the bottom here, it says the side cap port, which will basically add that. But that's it's something I don't really want to do unless I have uh, a longer hab. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And wh what I want to do here is I'm going to re-edit this. Go back to hab. Go down. Press bottom A. Now, as you see, what I'm doing here is I can go over here, select which side I want to place stuff on. Press G to attach right pretty cool huh now for example as I said you need to think of the bigger picture here so if I do this I can actually add landing gear here and if I want a longer piece I'll find one here and I don't want too too big of a, of a piece so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, build the a build another a make it look decent right and then I want to put another bottom here. That way my landing gears can, will fit perfectly right here. Now, if you want to add cargo, cargo can only be added on the sides in the back or front of your ship. So make sure you figure out where you want to put those uh, because you, uh, a front and back, you cannot add, you can't add decent cargo holds. I mean, decent later on, but early, not really decent. And it, they kind of look ugly the, the way they, they're placed. So you kind of have to do some TLC with that. Now on the sides, you can add a variety of things. And if you're looking for shielded cargo, you have to join the Crimson Fleet and they will allow you to put the shielded cargo uh, pieces on your ship. And as, as far as I'm aware, it is not 100%. Now, if you also join the Crimson Fleet, you don't really need these because when you teleport to their base, you don't get scanned or anything and you can just instantly sell your contraband there. And I'll have a video up later on that will show you how to join the Crimson Fleet. At least the easiest way to join the Crimson Fleet. All right, back to business here. Now, let me see. Uh, I'm going to cockpit. I don't want anything amazing, just something basic. I'm going to select the cockpit here. Uh, I kind of like these. A little cheap, a little cheap. So make sure you pay attention. It says cargo as well as hull and crew stations. That way your crew can uh, help you out in the cockpit. All right, so that's that's what I'm gonna add. Now I can put guns, a gun up here and stuff, but I'm not gonna add guns right now. I kind of wish I could edit the side here, but it doesn't seem like uh, that's the thing. Now if I go to structural, now see, if I add a horizon weapon mount, I'll be able to add two more weapons to my ship. So that way you can have a more variety of weapons and you're, you're also limited on weapons and you cannot exceed what you know so if you're pi if your piloting skills are is class uh, not class B and class C yet you need to get your piloting skills up and that way you can pilot these types of ships and you can build these types so the better the better stuff like these shields if you look class A which is fine I could use class A but if I go to class B and I go to class C I will not be able to use these because it'll say here's the error it will give you it says ship contains modules that exceed reactor class. So my reactor class is class A, which only generates 23 power. 
And my shield is class C, so this cannot work. You cannot have a class C shield in a class A reactor. So you have to learn how to pilot these ships. That way you can use these components. Now, if you're having a hard time snapping things together and you want to get a piece up top here and it's just not working out, well, you can press F to go down, R to go up. If you see on the side here, it'll show which layer you're on. Now I'm going to press R to go up and I'm going to put my reactor right here in the middle and then I'm going to go back to Habs, go back up here and I'm going to build a little top piece. Uh, I'm going to build a top B and then I'm going to go back and build a top uh, C. All right. So that way I can put guns right here. So I go back to structural I can mount some weapons and if I hold control and I press G I'll be able to duplicate this and if it's flippable you can press Z to flip it boom boom all right and then I can add my guns so I'm just gonna add some basic guns here but now if you see on the left side class a remember the class of your weapon must match the class of your reactor and hull damage shield damage max power hull so I'm going to be able to sh uh, use this one. Now, shield damage versus hull damage, of course, is very obvious of what that does. And I'm just going to place down uh, this laser right here. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to place it down right here. Now, I could actually delete this. And then, could, and then uh, easily do this. But I won't be able to flip it, right? I cannot flip it. So I can unattach the uh, the weapons and then I can flip it and then reattach the weapons, which it's kind of redundant, but you know, it is what it is. All right, now I'm gonna add some missiles up here. If it allow me to, certain places will only allow you to do certain things. All right, missiles right there. And then I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna put a cannon. Let's uh, see, a cannon right here. Perfect. Okay. Now, do not forget that you have a landing bay. So, if we go to landing bay or bays, you will actually be able to put down your landing bay, whichever you want to use. I think this one looks pretty cool for me, right? Maybe. So, I can pretty much put it like that that way it's in the middle of my ship almost and it, uh, it won't really no harm no foul now in this in this scenario I can go and put down some landing gears so if I go to gear I can see which ones I want which ones look cooler and then flip it and then go up front do the same now which area you want to look for is uh, the ship ha is missing a docker ship has too many or too few engines ship is missing a grab drive Now it does not say that the ship does not have any more or is missing uh, Gear landing gear so and it doesn't say it has too few landing gears the bigger your ship the more landing gears You're gonna have to have or you just got to put it in a way where it st stabilizes the ship in, in, in terms of landing all right, so now I'm gonna place down a grav drive and I'm gonna see class class A jump thrust. So your jump thrust is basically how far how many light years you can go. And this is 27. And then it's also depending on your mass of your ship and all that nonsense. Alright, so I'm gonna put a reactor right here. Let's see, reactor, reactors. Um power generated 23 and that's kind of the best one that I have right now all right all right now it says only one reactor is allowed oh I already have a reactor on here that's that's my fact whoops okay so now a docker now this allows you to dock with space stations and, and stuff in space you can add a slim one. Now, if you add a slim one, let's say I want to put my docker right here 
Uh, well, I can't really do that because nothing can get to it. It says docker modules must be on the outside edge of the ship. So if anything is higher than your docker module, you won't be able to, to, to dock with anything. So now your docker module either has to be on top on a flat surface with nothing that goes over the top of it because it will error. Or your docker module can be on the bottom. As you see, nothing around it that exceeds it other than the landing gear, which that's the landing gear. That's fine. Now, the other error I received, it says landing bay needs to be connected to the cockpit. So that means our landing bay is wrong. All right. So I'm going to delete the landing bay. And I'm going to look at uh, bays here. And I just want a compact one. Nothing, nothing too amazing. Now, as you see, it works. It says landing gear down. Touchdown points must be aligned with the landing. So it's giving us the error that our landing gear is too tall. So we need shorter landing gears. All right. So let's go back to gear. And we can do that. Now, as you see, it is still showing red over here on these. So that means they're, they're just too far down. But we can easily add these landing gears. Now, here, here's where it comes tricky. Our weapons are in the way now. But, sure enough, we can put our weapons right here on the landing gear itself. Well, we're going to be missing a weapon. But like I said, sky's the limit with this. You can pretty much edit it the way you want. I'm just doing a test ship for you right, right now. Uh, it seems like you cannot flip with uh, stuff on top of it either, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, now let's look at our airs. No engines. Okay. So we can only put weapons on top of here. Now I might need to uh, put these up a bit more. That way I can put some engines on. All right, so I'm gonna go with, uh, these are class B. Use these badass engines, right? All right, it says ship does not at least have one fuel tank. Okay, so we're gonna add a fuel tank. This is, uh, I think, this is the fuel for your grav drive. Yep, uh, 70. Good, good. Now we got two errors. Ship has unattached modules, uh, which are these over here. But I'll go ahead and attach these to that. So I guess the uh, landing gear worked out because now our weapons are fine. Now we have one airship has weapons that must be assigned to a group. Uh, we have a uh, ship is missing a shield as well. Now your shield has to be basically flat on top of something. Now your shield is pretty much like the docker. Um, if it's super high or whatever, you, you won't be able to put it down. Or if it's not on a flat surface, you can't put it down. Now, it seems like everything is aligned here. Some Before, it, I don't know if it bugged out or not. It wouldn't let me put my shield right here. But now it's letting me do that. And I guess maybe because it's flat. So if I stack these up, if I put these up here, now it'll give me an error saying docker modules must be on the outside edge of the ship. Which is the error saying, hey, it needs to be flat on the ground. Or flat on top of the ship. Okay. The only error we have right now is the weapons. Uh, so I'm going to go to weapons, unassigned, unassigned, unassigned. So your first weapon zero will be your left mouse button. So I'm going to put my lasers out there. The second one will be your cannon. I think your right mouse button, if I'm not mistaken. And your third one will be G for missiles. And it'll, it doesn't really give us any errors right now. It says nominal. All systems normal. Even though ships, it looks pretty bad in ter in in, st in terms of uh, you know standard standard nonsense, but <laughs> but this this is the ship. Now, if I press Escape, I will uh, be able to accept this. All items will be moved to the cargo hold, so all items from your ships will your ship will always save its cargo. But at the same time, I think your cargo data is always saved um, in the game itself. So you will be able to just keep your cargo. That's that's basics of sh ship building. I know it's uh, 
a, a decent long video, but I wanted you guys to, to know this, to understand it. And um, it's probably not as simple as I want it to be, but shipbuilding, you can literally do... Sky's the limit, right? Sky is the limit with this. And uh, yeah, if, if guys, if you enjoy this, make sure you hit that like button and sub, and I will see you in the next one.